How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Guess who? Guess what? Combo Hive Mine and playing some American Truck Sim. We are going to pick up a trailer, a trailer that is um, specific to a DLC that was purchased. I haven't seen the trailer yet. I pre started recording this episode, and as usual, uh i did not have any fuel in the truck and i was tired as hell i gotta travel 130 kilometers to actually get to this trailer so i did not know that i just i just found this out right now because i wasn't paying attention so this is this is not really a quick job. I'd say it's about a little bit over a thousand kilometers. I'd say I didn't. I honestly didn't look. Uh, the top one was cars, was giving me two hundred something thousand. But then I seen the second one, which is specific to a DLC that was purchased. A DLC that was purchased not long ago. If you've been watching my previous videos, you know exactly what a DLC I am talking about. So hopefully this does not take too long. I just wanted to do a quick little job for tonight. It is 9.36 at night on a Sunday night. I got to prep some stuff for tomorrow because tomorrow is a new work week for me. And um, so I was, I was just looking for a quick little job for tonight. Which I'm hoping that this is going to be quick. I'm wasting a few minutes already driving to the destination to pick up the trailer, which I did not know. And of course, the sleeping and the gas, the fuel, which luckily that was super close by. Uh, still rocking the Peterbilt. I'm liking this truck and we are going to be keeping this truck. I think it's fully maxed out as in the... Um, I think there's the, the engines maxed out. I think the transmission there's there's two more to unlock and I believe the chassis is fully unlocked So this is going to be what our truck will be for For a long time until I buy another truck and I swap from trucks left right and center once in a while so Sometimes I'll jump in this truck other times. I'll jump in another truck I'm not going to have the entirety of the fleet look the same. Um, cut in front of you, just like that. Boom. Highly illegal. Don't do this. But I was bobtailing and I knew that I could overtake him. Let me take my high beams off. Okay, quick look to the right, quick look to the left. We got nothing. All right. <clears throat> Still 40 kilometers to go though. I am going to be overtaking some people. Like the one in front of us right now. It is a double yellow. I honestly do not care. Uh, I just want to get there. Not in a curve though. Um, hi, how's it going? How's it going, buddy? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're cool. We're cool. Don't worry about it. We're cool. We're cool. This is not part of my um, driving. This is not part of my video. You cannot judge me on this one. Um, the driving to the destination to pick up the trailer. <coughs> and my throat is sore as well. So that comes into play. Oh yeah, that's better. Let me put some high beams on here so I can see where I'm going. Mm -hmm. 
Gravel Road makes my controller shakey shake shake shake. Alright, so this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. Wait, what, what are we picking up? What, what, what could it be? Is it, are you spinning? Are you working right now? Where's your lights? You're working in the dark without any work lights. Real smart. Real, real smart. All right, all right. This is our first time here. It's so exciting, everybody. It's so exciting. There it is. There it is. This is what we're picking up. We're picking up. This, this is it right here. This is it. This is it. We're picking up. All right. Oh, I can't. All right. I could probably just line it up right now. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's let's pull ahead just a tad. All right, all right, all right, all right. Shove it hard. All right. Um, change the view. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's change this. Boom, 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 boom. Mine is that guy in the back. Oh, that's my wheels. Let's actually keep it like this. No, you know what? The guy can be in the background. And boom and boom. I like that. I like that oh. all. Alright. No time to waste. Let's get going. We got 1,189 kilometers to go. Said it was going to be a little bit over a thousand or just about a thousand. Oh, I thought I had the wrong road for a second. Keep it going. Come on. Keep it going, Betsy. Keep it going. Ain't got time to lose. We ain't got time to waste. What's flashing down on my... Oh, okay, it's my beacon up top. I can see my beacon flashing in my mirror. That's so not legit. Clear. Clear left, clear right. We're good. Uh, what are you going to do, copper? What are you going to do? What is that? What is that? What is that? Okay, that's a tree. Uh, I'm gonna keep my high beams on. I haven't uh, added those on the controller just yet. I haven't been playing um, American Truck Sim in a few days actually. Um, so during the week, what I do on my routine, I have a full time job, so. I don't always have time to record and when I do have time to record I pretty much record whatever the hell I feel like recording on um, on the weekdays which I still do on the weekends I don't really upload anything that I don't feel like uploading myself or playing myself but I still have some series going on that you know sometimes I don't feel like playing that game so I keep the weekends for those so I didn't play American Truck Sim all weekend been a couple days few days and um, I've been doing other games but now well it is Sunday night now and I just felt like doing one quick game which is gonna end up being at least an hour long an hour and a half even But it's still quick enough for me and have time to uh, get some stuff ready for my week. And then during the weekend, I just punch it. I record and record and record and record. I start Friday as soon as I'm done work. Fridays, I'm done work at 3 o'clock. So by 4 o'clock, I'm home. 
but I do take a nap. Now I know that makes me sound old and I'm not old, but I sleep for an hour and a half, two hours because that gives me the energy to be up later to be able to record, record, record and record because that is all I do all weekend long. So Friday I'll do that for a few hours and then Saturday morning if I end up staying home, I record. If I end up going to work, then obviously I don't record. If, I, if I'm if i staying at home, I start recording 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock in the morning, I'll start recording and I'll record all day long. I'll play and record all day long. And then I do the same thing on a Sunday. I would play and record all day long. Now this Saturday, I was at work for a bit. Friday night I wasn't recording because Friday night at 11 o'clock, well at 10 o'clock I was gone to work. I started working at 11 o'clock on uh, Friday. I had a quick job to do and I got home at 1.30 in the morning. So um, I didn't record that much on a Friday. Saturday morning I was back at my shop. I was doing the maintenance on my truck. I was there till about um, 12 noon so I lost part of the day there but the rest of the day Saturday and all day today I have been recording 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 and I I edit I edit as much as I can and I upload three or four episodes then what what happens with the rest is that is my I guess my stock my inventory my stock of videos so if I either one happen to be going out of town for work for a couple of days and I'm not home, I can schedule some um, videos to upload while I'm gone. I have those videos uh, recorded, edited and ready to go already. Or if I happen to be extra tired during the week and I don't feel like playing either one playing games or two recording myself playing a game, I have those videos that I can rely on. What are you doing? Drop down to 60. It's a 100 zone. What are you doing? Come on. Hey, this is this is bull bull crap there. That's BS, man. Get move. Now you choose to. God damn. And you, officer, you can't you can't do anything about that? That's not even a cop. The AI in this game is so goddamn stupid. All the times I was behind him trying to push him to get out of the way, you wouldn't get out of the way, but uh, as soon as I switch lanes, he cuts in front of me. That's a beautiful bridge. I can't pay attention to it right now, but that is a beautiful bridge. That is beautiful. That is a beautiful bridge. That is a beautiful bridge. I like it. That is beautiful, 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 beautiful. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Okay. Pay attention to where you're going. See, see, I got to pay attention to where I'm going. Woo. Whew. That was freaking close. We nailed it though. Oh, we sure nailed it. I was close, but we got her. Could have been bad, but it wasn't. Let me put the cruise control on this. I believe we're still in Washington. Oh, shit. Let me move over for you, fire truck. All right, 
you're gonna cut me off so let me and you're just gonna zigzag and you what do you do lane breaking or what's going on here all right the rain is falling down a bit more got 900 kilometers left to go we still got a ways to go income of 17,000 from our driver which is good 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 we got 685,000 of buckaroos but it do still owe 300 and something thousand to the bank which we are going to repay uh, after this load this load here I believe is 170 thousand buckaroos So it's going to be a good income, very good income. Let me grab a drink real quick. Oh yeah, my mouth is parched. It's dry. After talking all weekend long, and usually that's how it is for me every weekend. That's how it is for me every Monday morning. When I go back to work, I've been talking all weekend long and talking to myself because I've been talking to you guys. I've been, I've been recording all weekend. So my by, by Sunday night, my 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 uh, my throat and my mouth are pretty sore. So it's a struggle every time, but I record a lot. I record a lot of videos. Um, I did a lot of raft over the weekend. I recorded a dozen um, episodes of raft and I've uploaded four of them today, I think. Kept the rest. I recorded and uploaded some um, <clears throat> Jurassic World. I played a lot of, uh, well, not a lot. I played some. Um, Tom Clancy Ghost Recon Wildlands. I'm gonna cut you off. All right, this is our exit number two thirty three. Up we go, up we go. Oh yeah, we're gonna yield to traffic, all right? They don't yield to us, we're not yielding to them. Uh, we are good on gas, we are good, oh shit. We're good on gas, we're good on sleep, so we're not gonna be stopping here. For to print, for to print. Oh, I thought I had green. I thought I had green. What are you doing with your convertible Mustang with the top down when it's raining at 5 o'clock in the morning? Like, come on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at 900 kilometers. I will see you when we have a couple hundred kilometers left to go. Welcome back, ladies and gents. Welcome back, ladies and gents. About 250 kilometers left to go on our journey. Half a tank of fuel. Getting to be tired. And I have one major problem. Um, so the GPS made me route through uh, a lot of back roads. And something bad happened. Coming around a corner over a hill uh my tractor and front of trailer were in my lane completely but the back of my trailer was not in my lane completely and we got pretty much 
T-boned by another transport, another, uh, yeah, yeah, another transport oh. truck going at 105, pretty much exactly like this, and then boom, you got T-boned. Pretty much at 105 kilometers per hour, 60 miles per hour. It has caused some damage to my truck, at which I'm not worried about. What I'm worried about is it caused over 70% damage to the trailer. And that is going to have a major impact on my income. So I've been trying to find a shop, a garage, a, a mechanic uh, that will fix well, I don't know if I can fix trailers. Obviously, he's going to fix my truck. But I don't know if I can fix the damage on trailers. I'm hoping that he can. If I find one. If I don't find one until before I get to uh, my destination... I will, I gotta sleep. The bed's red, I gotta sleep. I will definitely find one at my destination. Was there a car behind me? There sure was. Sorry guys. Normally I wouldn't do this, but uh, Oh, come on. Okay, I thought I was going to miss it for a second. I thought, okay, well, left our ambers on. No, no, no big deal. Okay, let's get out of Dodge. There's 181 kilometers left to go. We've got to find a mechanic real quick. Like I was saying, if I don't find one from here up until our destination, which is 179 kilometers, we are bound to find one at the city where we're going. If we don't, I, I don't know. It's gonna be like the cheapest load that we have ever made. I'm taking that stop sign with me. Nope, didn't even touch it. At 70, let's go 70, I think it's 74%, 74% uh, damage on my trailer. That's 74% of my income gone by vice. So I'm really hoping that I can find a mechanic and that the mechanic can fix the trailer as well as the truck. That would make me super happy. I think I knocked that sign down. I'm not 100% sure. Go, 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 because I'm cutting you off. That's right. You change lanes. I'm not changing lanes. You change lanes. Well, I, I guess I was changing lanes, but you know, you know. 150 kilometers an hour and 40 minutes. It's been a long journey uh, in game and in real life. I'm not going to lie. Uh, this, this makes me tired. This, this legitimately makes me tired. I don't get tired driving in real life. And I've driven for hours and hours and hours for work and personal. I don't get tired. But for some reason, playing this game, just sitting here, driving the truck, makes me tired. And I do a lot of long hauls. So, I don't know. Let me put some high beams on. Boop. Let's scoot on over because he's trying to pass me. Doing 102 kilometers per hour. We got 130 kilometers to go. That's a cop. That a cop. No, that's a uh, Range Rover. Yeah. 
yeah 679 and thousand and buckaroos is our money 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 horrible i know horrible don't quit my day job i know i know i know so far um everywhere that we have been has been explored terrain on this side of the road it is on the other side it is not so we've been here before oh and i bypassed one scale and i'm not proud of it but i bypassed it because in a couple of videos back there was a scale that was very stupid that made me completely go off the road to go towards the other direction to turn around again and i screwed it up twice not knowing how to get on that scale and i hit that scale again and i said f it i i'm not going on there so i just bypassed it Ninety kilometers. No mechanic in sight. I feel like we're not gonna get this trailer fixed up. That's my feelings. That's that's my um It's gonna be my guess, I guess. I, let's let's guess that it's gonna be my guess that we are not finding a mechanic to fix this trailer up. Like I said, the truck, I really don't care about the truck. I'll go fix the truck on my own dime, not a problem. Obviously, I'd fix the trailer on my own dime as well, but I wanna be able to fix the trailer before I bring it back. Therefore, I get full money for the load, which is 170 something thousand dollars, instead of just getting 25% of that. Know what I mean? That's a big freaking difference. But this being a forestry machine, I don't see them making me deliver it right downtown somewhere. <sighs> driving is a little bit uh, sporadic tonight as well it's not the best I do apologize I shouldn't have recorded this video this late after already gaming all day long all night long all weekend long but I'm here and I hope you all had a great weekend it was actually a uh, Father's Day weekend I hope uh, all you daddies out there had a wonderful weekend. I sure did. Part of it was done gaming. Um, I do have kids of my own, although they do not live at home and they don't live anywhere close to where I live. Therefore, um, no special plans for me for Father's Day. Just, um, just chilling. I'm going to cut you off, okay? Thank you. Hey, th thanks for let thanks for letting me by. Uh, let's see, okay, so gas, sleep, sleep, no mechanics anywhere. Okay, let me just run in this real quick. Ooh, there is a Kenworth dealership right there, though. That's where we're going. We're going to Kenworth. So we're going to take the same off-ramp, but instead of taking a right turn, we're going to take a left. And we are going to go to Kenworth to see if we can get this repaired. It's like seriously right here, right around the corner. So that worked out really good for us. As long as we can get this repaired. Please let me repair this. Please let me repair this.
Okay, getting in. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? I got green, buddy. What are you doing? Green. Jesus Christ, man. I got enough goddamn damage on my truck. Where the hell does that guy think he's going? Okay. This is it, ladies. Engine malfunction. I'm here. I'm here. Can you can you let me get in the fucking parking lot at least? Now backing it out might be an issue. Oh, tell me you can fix the trailer. Tell me you can fix the trailer. Nope. 800 bucks to repair the trailer. The truck. Damage report on the truck. What's the damage report on the trailer? God damn it. God flipping damn it. I want the trailer. God damn it. Well, that's gonna be a blow. Can I, can I squeeze in there? I swear to God, there's like 74% damage on this trailer. That's going to take a lot of my money away. Oof. 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 Oof, look at this tight spit. Oh, shit. Okay, that's good. Oh yeah, we got this. Ooh, like a champ. Like a champ. All right, well this load. Look at these guys going. It's green. Look, hey, 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 hey. Green for us, red for you. Um, yeah, this, this load is going to be pretty much pointless. I'm here now. I got to deliver it, but it ain't going to give us much. We got so much damage to this that it, it ain't going to be worth it at all. And I, I don't even want to say that it was my fault. I guess it was my fault because I, I should have taken that corner a little bit wider and not as tight. But at the end of the day, that ain't, that ain't really my fault, man. I, I, didn't, I wasn't the one that goofed up. I don't want to be penalized for this. I don't want to. You know, I want all my monies. You you don't take my monies. You give me my monies. Oh, come on. Like what? A foot? Exactly a foot. Where do you need this? Yeah, I could, I could do that. Wait. Where? Wait, wait, wait. But it can't get in there. Is it over there? Oh! I gotta back it in. Shut up. What the flip, man? Whoa. Ooh, ooh, crack balls. Uh, I'm gonna be doing this third person, so don't hate on me.
I gotta bag that in. It's a little bit harder than I thought. I, I thought I could just drive it around. Not the case. Probably not gonna do this. Start turning now. I'm doing this because I kind of want to grab every bit of XP that I can. Because I'm going to lose so much of it uh, once I actually unpin the trailer. Ooh, ooh that's my truck, man. I was trying to turn the wrong way. It's not going so well for me, okay? Just, just give me a break. Nope, too tight. I don't want to skip it. I'm I'm here. An hour later, but I'm here. Gotta bring it a little bit closer to the back. I should give it to me, right? I should give it to me. No? Of course, fuck up my truck even more. There, there you go. All right. What's the goddamn tally here? Congratulations. Uh, no, not synchronizations. Damage! Oh no! 71,000 penalty minus 3,000. That's, you know what? That's still not bad. We still got 100,000 and 4,000 XP. Um, better than I expected. Damage penalty 20%. See, I thought 75%, 74%, whatever. No, this is good. I'm happy with this. Uh, I got one point. Fragile cargo it is. Apply. And a new upgrades available for the truck. Let's go Peterbilt. And we got uh, Hyperion paint. We got some hub cover. Okay, nuts, nuts. Hub cover, hub cover. We have a uh, Cummins engine, but I don't think it has more. I think the one we have now has 610 horses. And we got two cap, so let's uh, let's see how far the near shop he is. Which sh actually should be right around. No, that's a Kenward shop. That doesn't matter. Kenward or Pete don't matter. Don't matter. La, four kilometers away, you are taking me to Kenwood. I bet you my left nut. Ooh, that's a nice machine. Let me take <clears throat> my amber lights off. And scoot on by to the closest nearest. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm going to put my lights off. 
Um, Kenworth dealership. <sighs> to check any uh, and all upgrades that are available for my truck. Before we end this episode, ladies and gentlemen, we will inspect the new parts available for this beautiful Peterbilt. Thank you. You see that truck going on a red light again. Come on, buds. You go. We have green. They have red. Priority, man. Priorities. Dodge Ram, not a Dodge Ram, just a Ram. And let me smash the brakes right here. Psh. Ooh, that didn't even work. It's coming in too hot. All right, close this, press this, and truck configurator, cab. Okay, we have the maximum cab for this truck. This is the best chassis for this truck. I have a ooh, 565 horses. There is a 605. Yes, sir. We'll take that and the transmission. Whatever it was, I already have the strongest transmission there is. And interior stuff. No, the heritage. I chose not to go with the heritage. There's absolutely nothing new for the truck. Absolutely nothing. Except the uh, the engine. So we do get a powerful, a more powerful engine. Confirm order. Thank you very much. Close this. Oh, I was looking at the doors. I'm like, how the? F how, when did I end up inside of a garage? Okay, bank repay uh, $314,000. We are going to repay that. Yes, that leaves us with 439,000 buckaroos. I want to check the truck manager, truck number two. See, he still has got a 485 HP engine. So we're going to uh, upgrade his truck as well. Oh, I can I can do the upgrade right now. Ooh, slick. I like the day cap. I really like the day cap. But this guy needs a sleeper as well. So yes, let's change this. We're gonna change the chassis to a six by two airlift chassis. Yes, sir. Just like that. We're gonna put the six hundred and five horse engine with the eighteen speed retarder transmission. We're gonna put the platinum edition interior on that. The paint stays the same. Same paint, mime shows, mime shows. Bumper stays the same. We're going to put that. No, actually, he didn't get that. We're not going to put that on there for him. Uh, this, nothing was changed. No flags were put on. A, that was like that. The grill, we're going to go with the GT Custom. A grill black with the blacked out, fogged out um, um, headlights. Yes, yes. Uh, tires, tires, we get the Vortec tires, and this we go with the Progress Chrome. This all stays the same. Yes, I'm not putting those ones. That stays the same how it is like so. This stayed the same. The mirrors stayed the same. The exhaust, we went for exclusive exhaust. Yes, we went for the exclusive one. This is the door handle with Chrome. The fuel tanks, we went the painted fuel tanks, looking beautiful. Tires on the airlift, let's put the Vortex on there. We're going to put the Progress Chrome on here with the Loosen and as a preset. Yes, no, this is our preset. Thank you very much. Standard, standard paint that is blacked out, boom, just like so. No hubcaps. 
Uh, I do believe this is the one we use. Yes, that's the one we use. And tires here, vortex tires and progress chrome. Boom, just like so. That's already done actually because I didn't change that. I just changed the airlift. The, uh, actually the tandems in the back stayed the same. Just gonna disconnect my controller so you may see that pop up in the screen. Peterbilt in red, I like it just like that. Yes, that's done. That's done. Up top, up top, up top. No, none of that. This, we did not have a rack. I like the idea of a rack, but it's not a logging truck, not for these trucks. Uh, later on, for uh, other trucks, yes, not for these trucks. Uh, horn, yes, that's good, just like that. We'll put the lights, yes, that's good, just like that. The visor, uh, we actually went for this. Yes, I do believe that's the one that is on my truck. No license plate in the dash window slash thingamabob or whatever. And I do believe that's it. I do, 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 do believe that's it. The interior, there's nothing that was changed. He can keep the GPS. It doesn't really matter for him uh, because nobody pretty much drives that truck but that one driver. He is dedicated to this truck and nobody else. And then boom, the wood. And we can't change anything back here. No, we sure can't. But he, we can add him a CB radio so that he can communicate with us. And that is going to be it. $110,000. Confirm the order. There you go. He's got the Peterbilt 567. Same as mine. 605 horsepower engine. He's done a lot of distance compared to me. Uh, I've been doing it a lot longer. Oh, I could have done just this. Hmm. Uh, garage Fresno Fresno no trailers attached to it Th status we are both um, bobtail no load and that is a daily profit of 78,000 daily profit of 20,000 uh, garage dealers same thing yes no I'm not gonna reconnect it thank you very much vehicle adjustments yeah no I'm not doing that either I've done that already new screenshot available for upload uh, that screenshot is actually being uploaded through my Steam account. So that is going to be it for this episode, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. In the next video, we will do some more loads and we will look at purchasing another truck. For the... Um, for the Fresno Garage... Here, that has an option of having five trucks. I will keep all five trucks identical to what they are. So they will all be similar trucks. Once I have another garage, I will have different types of trucks, Kenworths and Volvos and this and that. So I will see you in the next video.